Hello everyone, my name is John Dalrymple. I'm the Electronics Training Manager here at Allegion. And in this video, we're going to cover the topic of setting up your RCs and your electronic locks for Pure Access Cloud. So prior to doing this, of course, we have uh, wired up our reader controller, connected everything to it. That's a requirement. And I find that in the document that's called the User Guide for the RC Pure IP Multi-Technology Reader Controllers. Also, pay special attention to the instructions on page 15 as they cover the communications that are going to be necessary in order for our reader controller to connect to Pure Access Cloud and work properly in our system. I'm also, uh, in preparation for doing this, I had to sit down with the, with the IT director. I needed to share with him what our network requirements are, specifically around the NDE and the LE locks that we would be connecting to our system. And uh, there are some specific requirements. You'll find that information in a technical document uh, that we call um, the Engage Wi-Fi Network Requirements. Uh, We'll put a link to that document as well as a link to the uh, Pure IC, uh, the user guide for the RC Pure IP multi technology reader controller. So, those are both things that you're going to need to have. And specifically, one of the things once we've um, set some minimum standards for our devices on the, on the Wi Fi network uh, as it relates to the engaged locks, again, the NDE or the LE series locks, then I need to know what the Wi-Fi net network is that we're going to be working with. And specifically, I need to know what the SSID is for the Wi-Fi network you, that uh, we're going to uh, connect the locks to. I also need to know what the security model is uh, that we're going to be using. And of course, I need to know what the password is. So I've got all that information now, and we can go ahead and proceed with... Um, our, our process. And we're going to start with configuring the uh, RC reader controller that we've got mounted on the wall. I'm not actually going to do anything in the software just yet, but I am going to log into the, um, the Engage app. The Engage app is that app that we're going to use to configure our devices. There's the Engage app. I need to put in my password. Then I need to select the site where our locks are installed. And so it's the AAA import auto. So we'll select that site. And you notice it automatically takes me to the devices screen. Now, if I were using an Android device, instead of having um, the menu items across the bottom, I would have a menu bar in the upper left-hand corner, and I'd tap on that to choose it. But we're at the Devices screen here, and I'm going to Add. I need to choose what type of device I'm going to add, and I'm going to add a reader controller. So there it is at the bottom of the list. Now the app is going out and looking for devices that are within BLE range. I find one. It doesn't have a name yet. And then it asks me to confirm that the light is blinking on the device. So I look over and, yep, the light is blinking on the device. So I can say yes. Give the device a name. And we're just going to call this our desktop. Reader. Now we're going to use a DHCP configuration and we'll just say next. Now the configuration information is being written to the reader controller that's mounted and it's that done. That's it's that simple. I'm finished. So now we're just going to set down the app. We don't need that. We'll go ahead and log into our Isonus Pure Access Cloud. Again, we need to choose the correct tenant.
we'll go to our devices screen and look at that it's already shown up and so our device is there now the first thing that we would want to do is configure the device once it's installed in the system. So we're going to edit the device um, settings. And you'll see that we have kind of the typical things. Well, here I am using an ASM or uh, an advanced security module because my reader controller might be installed on the outside of the door. Lock on close doesn't make any sense if I don't have a door sensor. I do have a request to exit device, so there I have that. Now I get to determine what I want my request to exit device to do, just to report that somebody's going through. And that's what we would have if we just had a typical motion sensor and a lock set or an electric strike. If I had something like an electromagnetic lock, I would tell it to actually uh, admit the door or unlock the door when it gets a request to exit, but I don't have that case here. We're just going to have it report only. And then we need to determine uh, also what type of device we have. Are we have a fail safe device or a fail secure device? Do we need to have power to keep the door closed? That's a fail safe device. Or do we need to have only apply power when we want to unlock the door? That's a fail secure device. And my strike has failed secure. So I can save all that configuration information. And now my reader controller is configured properly. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, you'll notice that's the only device we have in our system. Let's go ahead and add an NDE lock to our system now. So here again, we're back at the main devices screen. Tap on the plus, select an NDE lock. We're instructed to turn and release the interior lever and then select next. Again, the app is going to scan the area using the BLE chip in the lock. It finds a lock out there. Again, we get the confirmation. Is the light blinking on the device? We say yes, it is. Give the device a name. Now here, we're going to choose storeroom function. There are other choices there, but none of those are valid in Isonus Pure Access Cloud software. And you might find your lock acting funny if you had chosen something here that the software doesn't support. So we're just going to choose storeroom function and I'll say next. Now I need to know about my Wi-Fi network. And in my case, I do know and I've already had that information configured there. All right, that's the end of this. All right, well, let's go back now to our software. You notice the lock didn't immediately show up there, did it? And to get it to show up in our system, we need to sync. So we're going to go up here and sync the engaged devices. We get a message to confirming that we want to do that. So we do. And lo and behold, we have a lock now that has been added, and that's this bronze Sparta lock. Well, let's go ahead and look at what device settings we would edit with this. So um, the failure mode, do we want the lock to fail to a locked or an unlocked condition if the batteries get too low? So um, fail safe means that we're going to have the door be unlocked. Fail secure means that we would have the door fail to a locked condition. Well, this is an interior door and it's inside the building. Uh, perhaps it would be best if we had it fail to an unlocked condition. Again, we can just make that setting here. 
Here again, we can choose whether we want to have um, door position. Well, door position is part of the NDE lock. It's mounted in the edge of the door, so we're going to turn on door sense. That's in fact true. And now we get to configure how often we want that lock to check in. And this is directly related to the battery life that you can expect on the lock. On a daily schedule, every 24 hours, you see there are other time intervals that are available to me here. Every hour, every two hours, every four hours, okay? Um, those are pretty reasonable, but those, uh, all of those except every 24 hours are gonna have a pretty detrimental effect on the battery life. So I'm gonna leave every 24 hours, but I do get to choose also um, what time I want that to happen. So what I would probably do is try to do this at, at, the, at the most quiet time in my building. So in my case, I'm going to go for, oh, let's say 2 a.m. in the morning, okay? And then the lock will check in there, all right? And then I'm just going to save those settings. All right, well, we have um, configured a reader controller, and we've uh, configured it for the type of lock it's going to have, whether it has a door position switch. We've included the fact that we've got a um, uh, uh, an advanced security module on it, We and we just fully set it up, and now it's set up here and ready to be used. And we've also added a wireless lock to our system. Okay, well, the last thing that we need to do um, with these newly configured locks is we need to put them into an access point group. So if we look at the access point groups here and I go to the administration, this is where I want to put my desktop reader. Um, we'll go ahead and, and uh, change it here to desktop reader. That may not be a very good name. So um, you know what, while we're here, let's go to the access points go to the desktop reader and edit that access point. And we're going to change its name from desktop reader to sales entry door. Okay. It's really that simple. You notice that it, it remained in its uh, access point group. If we were to go look at that again, it no longer has the name desktop reader. It has the name sales entry door. Anyway, so that's a, little bit of a cleanup and you notice how easy it is to use Isonus. You can clean up as you go. Um, this last door, the brown Sparta, I want to put it in the service bay. So I'm going to put it in the service bay at access point group. Simply click on the drop down, choose the lock named brown Sparta and save that. And if we look in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that we've made changes to our database that need to be compiled and sent down to the lock. So we're just going to press that button and we will compile and thereby update the readers uh, accordingly. All right. Well, we covered um, syncing or compiling the information that we made changes to on our online devices, the reader controllers. We probably need to cover how. What if I need to make a um, a compile in one of my offline locks? And in my case, it's an NDE lock. Well, um, we're going to go to the to the Engage app on our phone. Go ahead and log in, just like we always do. We're going to choose our site. And on the devices screen. We'll choose our lock. We'll tap on Brown Sparta. And as we're connecting to the device, uh, in a moment here, um, it'll come up and we have the settings. And you see right there in the middle of the screen, it says update from server. So I'm going to tap on update from server. And when I do that, the lock is going to um, turn on its Wi-Fi chip. So in a moment here, we'll see the lock uh, starts as say it's using its Wi-Fi chip and it's using its Wi-Fi connection now to go to pure to Isona's Pure Access Cloud, get its information and update or sync the lock is what we're doing. And it says update from servers have been initiated. 
And then finally we get a success and we say that that works. All right. Then of course we can just disconnect from the lock with our Engage app and go back to doing what we were doing. Well, that ends the configuration that we need to do to um, add our locks to the system and uh, configure them for the system and then put them into the groups where we're going to manage them later. Thank you for watching this video. If you need further information, certainly go to the website www.allegion.com forward slash US and uh, you can get access to much more information there. Thank you.